Dr. Vijay Shankar, Senior Consultant Neurologist, Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder, Deep Brain Stimulation Specialist from Apollo Hospitals, Greens Road, Chennai. Today I will talk about the common questions which most of my patients ask about Alzheimer's disease. So what is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is one of the commonest neurodegenerative disease. Especially this is one of the most common dementia, the memory problems which occurs in elderly people. So how common is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's is one of the most common neurological disease. More than 25 million people have affected with Alzheimer's disease. Almost 5 million people develop Alzheimer's disease every year. So what causes Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a idiopathic or spontaneously occurring disease. Like um, what we call it as a, um, the proteins, the tau or phosphotau or amyloid proteins which deposit in the brain and it can produce dementia. So what are all the common symptoms of Alzheimer's disease? The most common and the presenting symptom of an Alzheimer's disease is memory loss, especially the short term memory. Patients will be searching for their belongings like where they have kept the pen, where they have kept the glasses or watches and sometimes they forget the appointments and sometimes they usually they will be very well planned, they will uh, forget to pay the bills or sometimes they are going to a shop to buy five things and they will remember at least two or three then the next two they will forget it. So they will start writing and go to the shops or sometimes they will um, they will be cooking very well especially women. Sometimes they forget to put the salt or sometimes they will put uh, they will forget and they will put whether have put the salt or not. So they will try to put little bit of extra salt or the spices. So these type of the memory problems usually occurs. Sometimes they will have some difficulty in judgment. Usually they will decide properly. Sometimes they will get confused what to do next or how to decide. These type of confusions can occur. So how is Alzheimer's disease diagnosed? Usually when the symptoms of memory loss is very clear or even when they have mild memory loss, we will ask them to do a memory assessment, cognitive assessment. A detailed cognitive assessment will give us a clue what are all the parts of brain is affected depending upon whether the front side is more affected, sides are more affected or more the features of posterior part of the affected will diagnose the disease. The next important thing is we need to do a MRI scan. The MRI scan is very important to diagnose whether any small small strokes which can produce the memory loss or some other diseases which can mimic like Alzheimer's is can be ruled out by MRI scan. The next important thing is PET scan. PET scan will clearly show that how is the hypometabolism where all the um, uptake is there the tracer will inject a tracer and then the radioisotope will take a MRI like a PET scan. So what are the treatment options available for Alzheimer's disease? So there are two or three main important category of medications available for Alzheimer's disease. The main important medication is cholinesterase inhibitors like donopezil. Um, this medication can improve the memory functions in mild to moderate disease to even in advanced disease as well. So what are the risk factors for Alzheimer's disease? The most common risk factor is aging because Alzheimer's disease occurs because of slowly increasing of the age. Two, there are some genetic factors also play a role in Alzheimer's disease especially when they have a strong family history. Sometimes head injuries, small um, uh, 
chemicals or, or they also can produce um, Alzheimer's disease. So what are the stages of Alzheimer's disease? So Alzheimer's is a slowly progressive degenerative disease. There is no, it is very difficult to classify into as stages, but roughly we classify it as a mild cognitive impairment when the patients have minimal um, memory problems, but, the, but they can do their um, day to day activities without any discomfort, maybe a slight discomfort, those people we call it as a mild cognitive impairment. Then mild disease, when they have uh, mild difficulty in their day to day activities, they forget sometimes, but they can remember all these things after a few minutes or sometimes they may require, sometimes they may write down that uh, their what to day, day to day work, something like that. When it becomes moderate, they have some more difficulties in performing their activities. Sometimes they may develop uh, some agitation, restlessness, sometimes mild behavioral disorder and mild difficulty in um, judgment, all these things can occur. In advanced uh, um, Alzheimer's disease, they can have more significant impairment. They have uh, significant memory loss and they require support for their all their day to day activities, more agitation, more restlessness, all this can occur in advanced Alzheimer's disease. The most common question is, is Alzheimer's is a fatal disease? No, Alzheimer's is not a fatal disease. Even after 5 to 10 years of Alzheimer's, many people, even though there may be some uh, difficulty in performing their day to day activities or some decline in their quality of life, they are healthy, there won't be any problems for their life. Today we discussed about the commonest problems or causes, symptoms and how to diagnose and how to treat Alzheimer's disease. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. If you notice any of these symptoms, please consult your local urologist or the neurologist close to your home. Thank you.